what's happening? <laughs> Fucking stressed, you know. So um you seen the game of football I had my son yesterday, didn't you? Um so now what they've said is um I've gotta be locked up for twenty four hours a day. That's what they've said. Now those that watched my first video when it got released with a scene it got released of more conditions than a convicted terrorist. I've got a tag on me, which is normal. But then I've got a tracker on me. Right now this tracker tracks my every movement. But not only that, I've then got to give the car registration of any car that's travelling. I'm only allowed one mobile phone, which I've got to give them the phone number and the IMEI number for. Um, I've been putting this approved premises where I'm monitored, right, um, for the first four weeks. And now they told me that because I had a game of football, my son, who I haven't seen for 25% of his life, for the, he's 10 years old, I haven't seen him for two and a half years. Um, so I'm now in breach of the um, the rules here, in the approved premises. I'm the only person here with the staff. I'm the only person. Um, but these staff gave me permission. These staff told me, I said, I'm going out to see my son. He said, yeah, fine. But then when I come back, I get told by the manager, I breached um, the rules and I've been given a warning. Two warnings and you're back in prison. Right, I went for a game of football with my son. <sighs> now I'm on 24-hour 20, bang up for him um, for 10 days. 10 days, but it is what it is. I've just done two and a half years behind the door, so another 10 days. But effectively, I'm still a prisoner. Effectively, being treated worse than a terrorist, even though I've... Um, this isn't down to the staff here who treat me worse than terrorists. These are just the rules they've got to abide by, but the mad rules, in my opinion. I don't blame the staff here because they actually do a decent job, to be fair. It's just um, they're the rules. But yeah, so now I've got a 10 day lockdown. I'm not allowed out this room for 10 days. I'm not allowed to film any background. I've been told I can film as long as it's behind a clear wall. That's what they've said, right, in the background. Um, yeah, but you know what? Game of football, my son. It was the best. <laughs> it was the best fucking um, time I've had. So in two and a half years. So for me, that the ten day lockdown's worth it. But because I had a boss hour, even though I'm only allowed out for an hour a day, um, I had a, an amazing hour. It's the best hour I've had in two and a half years. So yeah, it was boss. So in that insight, it, it was worth it. I, I was unaware of these rules. I, got to, I told the staff, as I said, that I was leaving to go to see my son. He said, OK, Sam, just keep two metres apart. We had a game of football. And, um, <laughs> I fucking... Do you know what, though? It is what it is. You've just got to fucking surf the fucking wave, haven't you? And that's all you can do. And, like, even though, yeah, some people might see it as provocation and maybe trying to set me up to fail, but, you know, I'm not going to fail because... I've got my son to think about. We spent two and a half years in prison. That's twenty five percent of his life. Huge amount of time out of his life. He's my main motivation. My main motivation, completely him, and the promises I made to the people in Africa to knock their slums down. They, it's my two biggest motivations in life. So yeah, I mean, got this twenty four hour fucking lockdown, <laughs> being fed at me fucking door. Um, it's basically like being back in jail because I had a mobile phone in prison like we threw out me two and a half years, so <laughs> but don't laugh, I fucking cry. <laughs> so it's um, there's nothing I can actually do about it. So and I'm one of them people, if you can't do anything about it, then there's no point well, I say no point stressed over, there's no point tr you're trying to avoid stressing over it because obviously stressing over it's gonna be inevitable, but yeah. Um but again football my son. I've been put on 10 day lockdown, I think it's a bit um, harsh if I'm, and I've been given a warning, even though the staff at the time had told me it was okay to go. But do you think that's a little bit harsh, but you know, it is what it is, I've got no problem with the staff here, the staff actually do a good job as I said, it's just, um, they're the rules. Yeah, so that's just to let you know. Um, but, I'm going to put something up tomorrow about what we're looking to do, right? And we're going to show all these people that are doing GoFundMe's right and these charities who were um, not shown where their money's gone to right we're going to show them exactly how it's meant to be done and it's going to be helping old people so um yeah but this is a fucking
stressful fucking situation. I mean, you know. <laughs> I'm sat here on my phone, fucking, with nothing to do at all. <laughs> been talking to the boys and that, but there's nothing else you can do. It's literally just like being back in fucking jail. But as I said to you, <laughs> you don't fucking laugh, you'll cry. So, um, yeah, so I'll just laugh. It's all you gotta do. And, um, yeah, stay tuned. See you soon. <laughs> I'm fucking fuming. But, um, as I said to you, I'm just gonna fucking ride the fucking wave, haven't I? See you soon.